Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Demetrius here again from Obi Pixel. Today I want to just uh, go through a really cool set of comics that arrived. Once again, I'm going to talk about comics, but uh, this time it's not regarding Ripperverse. But it's a great set of comics that have um, landed on my lap, which I've been waiting for for quite some time. And it's the Transformers Volume 1 by Daniel Warren Johnson and the colorist Mike Spicer and, and the letterer Russ uh, Wooton. Uh, basically, it's like a reboot of the Transformers and it brings a fresh take to the Transformers franchise. So this volume consists of the first six issues, okay, six comics, and each one is packed with uh, really cool dynamic action and emotional depth and it's really fun I'm, i've just finished reading the sixth book uh, in terms of the sixth comic they're not very large comics but uh fantastic ones so here's an example this is issue number one okay great cover and essentially um uh, i'll give you a quick little rundown on each one i'm not going to do in major spoilers of course not but i've got some summary documentation i've put together on each one of these for those of you who are interested in getting the series and it was a fantastic series to buy it didn't cost me much i think it was a total of 30 pounds for the whole lot i got a great deal on ebay and uh, i just picked them up and this was actually a recommendation from one of my favorite youtubers as from heel versus babyface I watched one of his videos and I was like, okay, I've got to get these comics. And I'm so glad I did. So as, thank you, man. I appreciate it. So with issue one, right, the series basically kicks off with the Autobots and the Decepticons crash landing on Earth. And the fate of Cybertron is uncertain. And Optimus Prime must lead his allies to adapt the, to their new environment. And the initial issue basically introduces human characters who make a startling sort of discovery, setting the stage for the conflict to come. So this is a great first issue in the volume one. The second issue, which is really cool, is this one here. It's really nicely illustrated. And in, in this particular issue, we've got, uh, okay, so as the war begins, the Autobots and the Decepticons reignite on earth basically they, they they reignite this whole war and the new alliances are formed uh, and battle lines are basically redrawn which is really cool and the focus is on securing energon the essential fuel for both factions basically and it leads to an intense confrontation and really strategic maneuvers which is really fun to read the third issue which is brilliant and i kind of enjoyed this one uh is this one over here, the third issue. It, it it delves deeper into the characters, particularly Optimus Prime and Starscream, which I really, really love in the, in, the, in this particular series. And um, I like the fact that this particular comic goes deeper into the characters. You know, it brings out and it contrasts the difference, say, between Optimus' uh, leader, or leadership, I should say, and Starscream's quest for power and is highlighted with Starscream sort of struggling to lead the Decepticons effectively, basically, which is really interesting. It's really quite cool, and uh, I enjoyed this this issue. It was really, really fun to read. The fourth issue is uh, this one over here, and it's brilliantly uh, illustrated as well. And in this issue, the narrative really explores and, and, and sort of digs deeper around the scarcity of resources and it emphasizes the dire situation that both sides face, the both factions. And Optimus is prime, sorry, Optimus Prime sort of contemplating about Earth and Cybertron, and it's it's an emotional weight that he holds. And uh, while he still has to have action and 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 still showcase, you know, what he can do. And basically, this is a great uh, issue that she really shows Optimus is Prime and. Optimus Prime and how he does stuff and it and it's a great showcase of Johnson's distinctive sort of art style because it is quite different to uh, maybe other comics that you may have read and, and it this issue shows his his style difference it's really quite a nice issue to read and uh, great illustrations absolutely great then the fifth issue culminates um, 
Well, it actually begins by introducing Jazz, one of my favorites, and um, he's an aide to Optimus, all right? And he's very crucial in battle. And But the story assumes that the audience is familiar with the character, all right? So keep that in mind. And the issue sort of underscores the challenges that you that, that they basically face, that they're focusing on like a wide cast and uh, the typical common hurdles that Transformer comics have to go through. So essentially, I do like the fact that they bring in jazz. It would have been nice if they really dig, dug a bit deeper into jazz, but it's a great issue uh, nonetheless, and I enjoyed it. And essentially reintroducing uh, jazz as one of Optimus' uh, um, aids in terms of, you know, whatever battle is going to be ensuing. So no, uh, very good issue, really good issue. And of course, the first volume then culminates with issue six, which... Um, shows the first story arc concluding okay so it, it shows it concluding with stakes that are pretty high and action is really cool in this and it's it, it's got significant character moments it's quite a quite an emotional issue this one and uh, it sets up the future storylines all right so and it leaves the reader sort of eager for more which is i really i really like that because they are showing that they're serious about this this, this series and the first volume shows that they're not here just as first volume they're going to come back on a second volume and um star screams um infighting uh and betrayal within the decepticons provides this additional layer to the conflict which is really quite cool to see and uh, this was very 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 nice as an issue and, I, and i'm glad they uh, they created an issue like this which sets the pace for the rest of the volumes because this really builds up showing okay this is definitely going to be a good series so i really enjoyed this one so really overall when it comes to the six issues all six issues okay um the series is really impressive uh it's not something i've seen for a while uh, i've seen a lot of back issues that were not that great um, some of the OG stuff's fantastic, but some of the stuff that's come out in the last sort of 10, maybe 15 years, uh, but the back issues were fine, but these are very cool reboots, very, very nice reboots. One of the few I've seen that have been recent that have done a great job. So these do not fall under the category of uh, what stupid Marvel and DC and all the other companies have done in the years. Um, this is actually a very good reboot. And overall, the series is noted uh, for its like a unique art style, you know, it's got like a unique art and um, over the top, over the top fighting scenes, really over the top fighting scenes and um, a nice balance, say, between violence and emotional depth, very cool flow between the two. So the first volume I would recommend 100%. I agree with as from Heel vs. Babyface. It's definitely a very cool volume. It's a fresh perspective. And an engaging storytelling series and 100% uh, recommend it to my followers, anybody who's interested in getting into comics and uh, anyone who's never collected uh, Transformers. Definitely this is a good series to collect, a good volume. Volumes um, or volume one, this is series one to six, issues one to six and I tell you, you won't go wrong. You truly won't go wrong. You're going to absolutely love this particular volume and um, it's, just, it's just great and you can get great great sort of specials on this and um yeah that's i just wanted to give you a brief little uh, breakdown on the series and i just thought i'd let you know my take on them and uh, what i found was really great about them and also recommended because uh, i'm getting back into my comics as you've seen in my previous videos but i'm very 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 pedantic about what i choose and um yeah i got a great recommendation from as from heel versus babyface and uh he's not wrong he's 100 percent correct here and i would trust his his notions fantastically better than anybody else because um he knows he knows his stuff and um i mean he's been collecting comics for so many years and never gave up unfortunately you may know my my struggle when i was younger and why i gave up my uh path of comics but it's fine because i'm back and i'm now slowly collecting back issues and this set just landed um, today in my lap. I read all six today, literally this morning. And oh man, I'm gonna read them again and again and again. And they've they've done a great job with this. Excellent writing, 
great illustrations, but a unique, unique style in illustrations. I mean, these guys have done a great job, you know, when it comes to Dar Daniel Warren Johnson and uh, Mike Spicer with his artistry. I mean, these guys, it, it really is impressive. And it's the it's got the old style cross between the new style and uh, it's just got that OG feel, you know, the original stuff. and. What a great reboot. What a great reboot. I mean, look at the style of this. I mean, it's fantastic. Hey, look at that. Absolutely beautiful cross hatching. It takes a lot of effort to, to sort of illustrate like this. And then, of course, oh, this one stands out. It's beautiful. You know, fantastic look. Um, it's just fantastic. Hey? And then, of course, you know, it keeps on going. Absolutely keeps on going. It really keeps on going. The second one was great as well. Really dug into everything. But I mean, how do you how do you go wrong with a series that starts off like this? I mean, <laughs> we all know, right? Transformers, man. We all know Optimus, man. Optimus Prime, you know, Jazz, Bumblebee, all these guys. You know, it's gonna be fantastic. So that's all I wanted to say. Thank you for your time. My name is Demetrius once again, and from Obi Pixel, and I'm hoping to make more videos in the future with this. They're, they're gonna be short videos. Thank you for listening. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it and go ahead and get the comics. Trust me, you're not going to go wrong. You're going to love this particular volume and I can't wait to see the second volume. I hope they continue on this path because it's it's really quite well put together. And uh, thanks, as Thanks once again from Heel vs. Babyface and for all of you, Demetrius here, signing out.